Hey, it's Kelly with CitrusCycles.ca. I'm here at Riza and Müller's booth in Eurobike in Frankfurt, checking out their new products. And as you can tell, RM has a lot of cargo e bikes. They have the uh, compact multi tinker that I'm going to have a video on our website soon. They've got the longer tail multi charger, and of course, they've got all the front loaders. So you'll find video reviews of the load and the transporter. What I'm going to talk about today is the Paxter 70. So the Paxter 70 has these really high sidewalls, which is very attractive for families. You can see this is the Paxter 70 family configuration, which is a kind of a really value-oriented bundle that gives you kind of the main things you'd need, the touring version with chink, set and derailleur, the rain cover, of course. We've got the height adjustable handlebars on there. Lots of great options. What's unique about the Paxter 70 is it does use cable activated steering. So when we look underneath here, you don't see a linkage arm like you'd find on the load or the transporter. So it is cable-based steering that gives you a very, very tight turning radius compared to a lot of other cargo bikes. They use a boost uh, standard for the front fork there, so lots of uh, stability and very, very sturdy. It's nice to have that suspension fork up front to keep you safe on bumpy roads. You're not having to swerve to avoid things. You can just keep on riding and keep your load comfortable and keep in control of the bike. So speaking of control, you can actually order the Paxter 70 with what R&M calls your control technology, which gives you a rear swing arm and a, a, a shock on the back. So that's going to keep both your front and your wheel wheels always in contact with the ground. It's going to really smooth out the ride and give you lots of stability. As you can see, this particular one has the uh, Smart Sam Plus knobby tire, which uh, we love, highly puncture resistant and uh, great for uh, gravel or slippery roads. One of the things I really appreciate about the Paxter 70 is it does use Bosch's cargo motor, which is ideal for cargo bikes. It uh, uh, will work at really any cadence. If you're in the wrong gear, that's okay. It's really going to help you out. It gives you a high level of support, lots of torque for the hills. And uh, then, of course, you've got lots of display options. You've got the uh, Nyon with the offline maps and GPS, Bluetooth, smartphone hub for using your phone. The Purion display, lots of great options, lots of accessories inside. We can't see them from here, but you've got options like a luggage shelf and the angle of the seats is adjustable. We've got the option of a dual battery, both integrated in the frame. So there's one on that side, one over there, both 625, which is fantastic, gives you lots of range. While we're looking at the bottom there, you can see a nice, really stable kickstand, really easy to deploy and to release. Lots of great options, a nice heavy duty rear rack that you can use to bring extra gear along as well. We've got that really cool glove compartment at the front there that uh, uh, you can lock as well if you wish to, to uh, maybe put your gloves in <laughs> in the winter. Lots of cool options. This one you can see has a tarp. There's a child cover. Lots of great options. I hope to do an in-depth video review including a ride test later on our website at citruscycles.ca.